Out of 335,000 workplace deaths worldwide, more than half occur in agriculture. Now, according to the International Labor Organization, the mechanization of farming has earned it the distinction of the most dangerous job on earth. But it is not just large-scale farming. Home gardening can be dangerous as well, as we see in tonight's travels that Charlie calls Miracle at Dagsboro. It happened so fast, I can't tell you exactly, but I was rotor tilling, and the rotor tiller did take off and I chased after. I'm pretty certain it tilted over and exposes the tines, and I think I stepped right into it. He just waved to me and told me, get some tools. <laughs> yeah, we, I went and got tools. The EMTs showed up. They were going to try to cut the hood off and then try to saw through this tine. It, it's laying up there. And I said, no, no, I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm going to go in shock. Let's, let's try to do it that way. We took it apart. We took the rotor tail apart. His tibia, the shin bone, and the thigh bone, the femur coming down. In between here is the knee joint. You can see it coming across here. And you can see the metal outline of a tiller blade that's kind of wrapped around from the back inside of the knee around the front of the shin bone. I was very fortunate in that the blade struck the bone and kind of got diverted from the bone rather than going through the bone. And in this way, he was lucky in that all the vital structures in the back of the knee were missed by this pretty um, high impact tool. I've, I've never seen a tiller injury like this, but we, we do see industrial or agricultural accidents that are just barely grazing along disaster. If I move slow, it doesn't hurt. And it really, the swelling's going down, and I, I can move. I, Did you have any idea how many people people think Oh my God, hundreds of people been praying for me, you know? So I told them quit praying for me. Pray for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, we're glad to see you on the road to recovery. Mm -hmm. Now, full disclosure yeah. for those who recognize Charlie Lynch from previous travel stories, he is the longtime Dobro player for our Charlie's Traveling Church Band.